Hey friends, long time no see or talk. Um, so I unintentionally took a little bit of a hiatus from vlogging. Um, didn't plan that at all, it just kind of happened with the crazy and busyness of life. But I am determined to get back into doing this regularly for the rest of the school year and in the future as well. So um, it is April 1st, it's April Fool's Day. Um, so I think the last time I vlogged was at the very beginning of February, late January. So it's been a little while. Um, directed our school's talent show and um, then hit our yearbook deadline and um, then it's like crazy pageant season for me. So it's just, it is a incredibly busy time of year. I'm not gonna sit here and give excuses. It just got very busy and it's okay. So um, the good news is I'm back. So it is, um, like I said, April 1st and pretty much the name of the game is test prep. So um, we were on spring break last week, which was amazing. Um, had so much fun in Disney and it was my 30th birthday, so it was super fun, especially for that reason. Um, but like I said, we are two weeks away from our state assessment, which is the Georgia Milestones. So we are hitting the ground hard, getting them ready. Um, I told my kids today that it is crunch time. The Super Bowl is coming and so we're gonna train especially hard the next two weeks to make sure that we're extra prepared. So. Um, that's kind of what's going on in school life. Um, in other news, I don't think I've vlogged this. I know I've shared it on social media, but I haven't vlogged it. But um, I did apply and interview and get a new position for next year. So I'm super excited to be teaching first grade next year. Um, so I won't be three with Mr. B anymore, which is a little sad, but so excited. I'll be at a new school as well. So whole year of change for me coming up, but I am, I'm really looking forward to where the Lord's leading me. So just thought I would throw that in there because I know I haven't shared it here on the blog. Um, so yeah, today was good. It was April Fool's Day, so I didn't do like anything um, super special prank wise. Um, I did do, let me see if I can find, let me show you a thing we did real quick. Don't you do it. Don't. You're not allowed to be on the vlog. Um, I did do this word search that came from a colleague of mine. Um, it's a writing word search. There's Abby. And <laughs> I told them, I said, you have five minutes to do the word search and whoever can find the most words in five minutes will get some kind of prize. Well, none of the words are in the word search. So it was so funny to watch them. Um, but it does spell out, I don't know if you can see, but it does spell out Happy April Fool's Day. So that was just a little trick I played on my sweet kitties today. I don't know that I have shared this on the vlog either, but I am still working with my little reading remediation group that I have every day during our um, 30 minute new schedule thing that we're doing. Um, still loving that. I have adopted um, Rooted in Reading from Amy Lemons. So that's what I've been using with them. It's such a good curriculum and I have talked a lot about Magic of Math on here before so I knew that it was a great product. Um, it is so good because um, it's taught through read alouds and a lot of times it's picture books which are so incredibly great for teaching some really really good comprehension skills so um, pretty much the way it works is i do a read aloud with them on monday and then everything we do throughout that week revolves around that read aloud so um and it's it's like high interest books like good books that the kids really really enjoy and it's themed by month so um, like in February when I first started it we did a lot of um, Black History Month books that were great um, we had some cool um, there were some basketball themed books for March and now I'm in the April and this week's book is What Happened to Humpty I don't have the actual book I don't have a copy of it we used it on the smart board today um, super super adorable little book um, about a detective who um, is the brother of Humpty Dumpty and he kind of solves the crime of how he fell and it brings in all of the other nursery rhymes and different fairy tale characters too. So um, just a super fun book for them. So we're working on some mystery comprehension work. We stopped and did some predicting. Um, but the product is just, it's so, so good. 
Um, and I'll have to show you some things we do throughout the week. Um, but like today, we just read the book. We made those predictions. Um, but like it's such a super friendly template. Um, and this looks backwards to me, but I don't think it will be for you. But there's like a reading comprehension component. There's a vocabulary component and a grammar component. So if you needed it for an entire ELA block, you could use it. Um, I do reading and writing workshop for my reading and writing block, so I don't use this. This I just use for my remediation group. But really, really loving it. It's been really, really beneficial for them, and they really enjoy it. So I have to show you some other things you do throughout the week, but that has kind of been something new and different that I've been trying. So um, I'm going to hop off of here. I have to leave sh very shortly because um, my sister is having another baby, and um, today we're going to the baby theater to find out the gender of the baby. So I'll keep you posted. Um, those of you that have followed me and know me, I have a niece already, Carly. So um, we'll see if I will have another niece or if I'll have a nephew. I'm gonna go with, I think it's a boy. Um, so we'll see if my prediction's correct. I'll have to let you know tomorrow, but I'm team boy. I would love to have a little nephew, but we'll be happy either way. So I'm gonna hop off so I can go do that, and I will promise you I'll check in tomorrow. So glad to be back, and um, yeah, happy Monday, friends. Good morning. It is Tuesday, and it's 1036, so my kids are at specials so since i didn't have a chance to hop on this morning and update i thought i would do that um well i have a few minutes so happy tuesday um welcome back um and i guess i won't leave you hanging um last night we did find out the gender of my newest niece or nephew and i was correct uh it is a boy so we're so excited um I think I said yesterday I have a niece, so now I will have a nephew as well. Um, so we're excited to welcome Brooks in September. So that was a super exciting part of my evening yesterday and so exciting. Hold on one second. Sorry, one of my teacher colleagues needed me for something. Um, so I don't remember where I was. Anyways, it's just been a good, good day so far. Just feeling really excited about all things life. Um, so we are in the middle of test prep. So this morning um, we did reading and we talked, we're working on um, nonfiction this week. So we focused in on main idea and I taught them that when you're looking for main idea, one strategy you can use is to um, look for words that repeat over and over. And a lot of times that will clue you in to what the main idea is. And so um, we practiced that with several passages and they could find the main idea and then they could they could identify the main topic and so then i pushed them a little further and i said you can't stop there you got to keep going and really figure out what do you think the author wants you to know about that topic what is he really um kind of driving home in the story so they did such a good job with that um we did some passages from Seymour Simon about wolves so there was a paragraph about teeth and a paragraph about ears and then um Kind of the end task was I said you can we can identify the main ideas in both paragraphs now what would be the main idea of the whole passage and so they were able to take everything they knew and they could say oh it's about body parts and how they're so important and how they have to have those body parts to help them survive so it's just really really good thinking work that they were doing this morning so just feeling really good about them being prepared for any kind of situation they could see on the Georgia milestones. I am really excited about what I'm doing with my reading group today. So um, we're working on point of view. We did read the Humpty Dumpty book yesterday. And so today we're gonna talk about point of view and we're gonna talk about how that story is written and what point of view it's written in. And then we're gonna do a little activity. We're gonna watch, um, it's a Pixar short, it's Pigeons. You've probably seen it. Um, I can maybe add the link if you haven't. And they're going to watch it and we're going to talk about what point of view the story is told in and then they're going to rewrite the story from one of the chicks point of view so that's a really good practice for them for the narrative writing but i think they'll really enjoy it because it'll be something different i have about one minute left so um yeah so those are two things that are kind of happening today i'll definitely try to check in at the end of the day and let you know how that went and kind of share some other things but 
The name of the game is test prep, unfortunately. We're just getting them ready. It's crutch time for sure. So I'm gonna go get my kids from specials and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, <laughs> totally not vlogging from school because I forgot to, but I did grab my camera on the way out so that I could update at home. Um, and it was like six o'clock when I left, so it wasn't super um, early that I left or anything. I just totally forgot. Um, and I didn't check in at the end of the day yesterday either, so I'm real, real, real um, failing here. But we're going to be all right. Um, just wanted to hop on and say hello. Um, and it's been a good week. Um, like I said before, it is Test Prep Central. So that is the name of the game all week long um, across the board in every subject. Um, I don't really feel like I'm drilling and killing them, though. We're really kind of taking it easy. Um, and just, I mean, it, it's really good work that we're doing. Um, yes, there are certain things that we have to prepare them for that they're going to see, but I don't really feel like I'm teaching them anything new. We're taking everything we've learned this year and kind of just showing them what it could look like on the Georgia Milestones. So, um, it's actually been really, really good. I really, really enjoy what we're doing. Just said really, really a lot. Um, and then today we had Milestones Examiner training, I guess you would say. Um, not Examiner. Administrator? I don't know. We have to be trained to give the Milestones. And I have given it, this will be year number five. So, it's the same thing every year, so it really is nothing new. It just kind of makes my heart rate increase a little bit because we do feel the pressure. Um, my kids are amazing, and they're going to do fine, and they're going to do great because they are worth so much more than a test score, as cliche as that sounds, but I really believe that. So just really ready for all this to be done and over with, and it'll be probably the last time that I have to do this because we don't take the Georgia Milestones in first grade. Yay! Um, but yeah, just wanted to hop on and say hello. I can show you, obviously I can't show you, sorry, um, any of the things that we did today or yesterday, but I will definitely try to do that in the morning. Um, but yeah, just wanted to hop on so that you didn't think I completely abandoned you because I didn't. I'm still here. Hey friends, guilty as charged, another vlog from home, um, I wanted so bad to update today, and it just didn't happen, and it's okay. I'm not going to fret about it. It's all good. Um, so, I got to school at a normal time, but I was just nonstop when I got there, and then we had a meeting during our planning, so I didn't get to update then. Um, I don't eat lunch in my classroom. I eat in the teacher's lounge with my other teacher friends, so couldn't vlog then. And then pretty much right after school, um, I left. So today I went to my new school for next year and i um, so excited. Um, so I went over there to meet with one of my team teachers for next year to do my supply order for all things that I'll need next year. So we always do that at the beginning of the year and it was nice to be able to go over there and hear what they think I will need plus some things that I like to have every year. So that was super fun. Got to, to meet some friends that I'll be working with and see some classrooms and just really excited about it. Um, just feeling so happy and on top of the world right now. Um, today was a really, really good day. Um, I bet you can guess that we did test prep today. But again, really just loving what we're doing. Um, I will try my best to show some things tomorrow, but um, really loving what we're doing in writing. So for our state assessment, our third graders will either write an informational essay or an opinion essay um, based off of two passages. So this week we're really focusing on opinion writing. Next week we'll fo focus on information writing. Um, and I really love the way that we're teaching how to attack that. And um, it's just really good stuff. And my kids are doing phenomenal. Um, so what we have been working on is um, we have two passages, one about dogs should be allowed in restaurants and the other is dogs should not be allowed. 
And what's been really cool is this week I took one side of the argument, they took the other. So everything I write um, is different from what they're doing independently. So it's nice that they really get some true practice and they can't copy anything that I'm doing. But I've taught them how to write from both passages and just how to make those essays really strong and how to convince and how to... Today we worked on not plagiarizing but paraphrasing or taking something from the text and giving the author credit. So that was really cool. But they are doing amazing on their essays. Um, I'll try to show you some of those tomorrow because I am so, so proud of them. They've done so well. Um, so it's just been really good. Um, we've been working really hard and they're going to be so ready. Um, so we're six days and counting and it'll be time to take that test. Um, also, love this angle, but this is my office at home. Um, this is such a fun little space. These back here um, are my Bible study flags. So I worked for Centrikid, um, which is a camp program through Lifeway for three years? Three years. Gosh, that's been forever ago, but I worked for them for three years. And um, it was a summer long thing where we traveled with a team of people and we set up camps and kids came to us in the summer for weeks at a time. And there was always a theme of the camp. And so the Bible studies, like our groups of kids that we had were named based off of the theme. So this orange one was my very first summer um, and we were, it was like a, a lights, camera, action theme and my Bible study was the cameos. So that was really fun. And then the next year was a news theme and my Bible study was the cameramen. So that was really fun. My third year they didn't do, they, we still had a theme, but they changed it to, um, we were colors and numbers by grade level. I remember I was yellow. I think I was yellow number two that year. But anyways, just a side note, that's a lot of my office is camp stuff. So just thought I would share that with you a little bit. You are in any of your abilities going into your testing weeks. So I like to start all of my presentations the same way. I like to say, it's a great day to have a great day. Can y'all say it with me? One, two, three. It's a great day to have a great day. It is, and we're outside, it's a beautiful day. And so next Monday, if you're a fifth grader, or the Monday after that, or the Monday after that, I want you, girl, you girl, girls and guys to wake up in the morning and think it's a great day to have a great day because I am ready for my testing. And when I talk about self-confidence, I found that your self-confidence comes from four different areas in your life. I call them the keys to confidence. The first one is building relationships. Do you guys know what relationships are? Yes. yes. You can have a relationship with your friends. You can have relationships with your parents. Or Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Hey friends, happy Tuesday. I um, am just vlogging for the first time this week. It's 524. Um, totally meant to check in yesterday, but just kind of left early sporadically, so didn't get a chance to do that. And um, this feels very lean. Let me, there we go. Um, first of all, let me just say, my room looks so bare on the walls. Um, all of that's gone on that wall and then all of this has started to come down. So I actually thought that I was testing in my room next week for the Georgia Milestones, our state assessment that our third graders take, but found out on Friday that I'm not testing in my room. I'm going to be in the computer lab. So I started taking things down because as you know, I'm moving next year. So, um, it just felt weird to take it. I mean, to cover it up versus take it down. So, um, I'm gonna stop taking things down for now because I don't need to just yet. Um, but I have started like packing some things up and going through boxes um, and trying to get some things ready. Like look at all these boxes my custodian has brought me. Um, I'm definitely gonna have plenty of boxes 
So, um, it is test prep week. Um, we have, we are reaching the end of that. So I thought I would show you some of the things that we have been doing. I don't love the walking angle, it's so weird. Um, so let me flip you around first. Okay, so one of the very first things we did at the beginning of this unit was we did worked on constructed response questions. So this first chart is from that and we talked a lot about really paying attention to what the question is asking. Um, for instance, we talked about that's a why question so it should contain a reason. And then we talked about how important it is that we have two details. Um, and then this is from reading that we've been working on. Um, we've worked on nonfiction last week. This week we're doing just a little bit of a review. So we reviewed everything that we've learned with nonfiction this year. So we talked about main idea. And one of the things we learned is that, I think I shared this, is that you can look for repeating words in a text. So I have a student's copy here where they looked at these paragraphs from text and they found repeating words, which led them to figure out the main idea. Um, so we figured out the main idea of each individual paragraph and then my students figured out the main idea of the entire passage. So um, one passage was about wolves' teeth, one passage was about their ears and their hearing. So the overall main idea was that they have really special body parts that help them survive. And so most of them got that. And then we talked about context clues, we talked about cause and effect. And then in writing, last week, we worked on opinion writing. Um, so on the first day of testing, my students will either write an opinion essay or an information essay off of two passages. So last week, I taught them how to tackle that um, by following these steps. So we, um, we did a lot of work with two passages about dogs and restaurants. And one passage was obviously um, that dogs should be allowed and the other was that dogs should should not be allowed. Sorry guys, I lost my train of thought there. And um, so one of the cool things was that I wrote from the perspective of um, they shouldn't be allowed and my kids wrote from the perspective of they should be allowed. So I got to model the work for them and then they got to try it on their own, which was really cool. So um, that was really great. I feel really good about opinion writing. I feel really, really good that they're gonna be ready for that. This week we're now working on information writing. And so we have some passages that we read today that are about money. And one passage was about how money was like in the past and now passage two was about how money is now. And the prompt was, write an information essay about how they, um, how people use money. So it's kind of very basic. So we really focused in on the introduction part of it today. And I said, you have to really introduce your essay very strong. Like you really have to hook the reader and get them interested. So we focused on introductions. Um, I had them write an introduction for that essay and then we read them all aloud and we scored them and we talked about which ones we really liked and how we could improve some of them. So it was a really, really neat process for them. Um, and I'm just feeling really good about the writing part. I have great writers and I'll just say I don't feel good about writing because I've test prepped them, but I feel good about my writing because I have taught the units of study for writing workshop from Lucy Calkins and I have really strong writers and they've really got good strong foundational skills as writers and now I'm showing them how everything they've learned this year could be applied on that test. So I'm just feeling really really good about them being ready. I know they're ready, they're prepared, I've taught my heart out this year like I do every year so it's going to be good. Um, and then in math, I'll have to show you some math tomorrow because I think all that is put away. But we're doing a really cool PowerPoint review thing that has a ton of skills over everything that we've covered this year. And um, they're really enjoying that. I'm doing a lot of competition things and doing like highest score gets a prize and things. And that just kind of keeps them excited and keeps them going. Um, really quickly, I will show you one final thing. Um, I'll have to figure out where this came from on Teachers Pay Teachers, but this is a creative and critical thinking packet. Um, they have it by month, and again, I'll find the teacher that put this on Teachers Pay Teachers, but it's just a book of activities that is um, like just different creative thinking. So this is like categories, 
There's um, a bake sale where they have to write titles that would make people want to buy these. There's like a coloring page. It's just a book full of things all about April. Um, that's good for them to do. So like my kids have been doing that during dismissal. Um, they got it today and they really enjoyed it. So that was something really cool that we're kind of throwing in there as well. So I've been talking for a really long time. I had to catch up and um, I'm going to try really hard to vlog throughout the day tomorrow. I can't make any promises. It's just nonstop, but I'm going to try really, really hard to make that happen. But for now, I'm going to head home and get some rest and chill out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey friends, happy Wednesday. I feel like my glasses still look dark. I just went outside for a second to get a coffee. Um, coffee wasn't outside, but we drove to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, second iced coffee of the day, by the way, if that tells you anything about this week. Um, just wanted to hop on really quickly because I didn't get a chance to hop on yesterday morning. Um, so I thought I would hop on. My kids are at specials right now, and I'm gonna try really hard to multitask while I'm talking. So, um, First, let me show you what we did in reading this morning. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to flip you around. So, one of the things we're reviewing this week is text structure with nonfiction. Um, so, the first thing that I did is showed a PowerPoint that reviewed all of the text structures just to kind of get their minds rolling. Um, and then we wrote them over here on the board. Then we read... Um, a little article this one is called tornadoes and it's got three different paragraphs and all of the different paragraphs have different text structures so the first thing they had to do is identify the text structure in each paragraph and then um, you can see at the bottom extra extra think all about it those were some different questions that they had to answer from reading the paragraph so we did this one all together I recorded the answers over there on the whiteboard so they could see what it was like and then they got to work independently on let me show you no they didn't work independently they worked with a partner look all of my kids followed directions and put their papers away in their folder so I'm gonna have to pull one out love it so they got they got this one. Tornadoes was on there because we did it together. So then they got one about entertainers. It was about like Selena Gomez, Carrie Underwood. Then they got a Disney one, of course. And then one about cool schools and how like engaging minds and bodies and just different ways schools are doing that. So they read those articles together with their partner. Then there was an answer sheet for each of the articles. And so they worked together to identify the text structure of each article and to um, find the answers in there. So that was really, really fun. They really enjoyed it and they really remembered a lot. Um, I think text structure is a little tricky sometimes for third graders. So um, I'm really, really proud of them. Really, really looking forward to watching them be successful with that on the milestone. So I'm gonna make a quick chart for writing. I have the opinion writing chart from yesterday that I showed you. Now we're on information writing, so I want to have that chart ready for today so I can show you some more about that and for my students. And yeah, so I'm going to hop off and do that and I will talk to you later today. Hey friends, I have 8% battery, so I'm going to have to do this quick um, before I don't have battery life anymore. So happy Friday. Um, this is really funny, but I don't think I checked in yesterday. I don't know. I don't think I did. Um, it's currently 9 o'clock on Friday night. Shocker, right? Um, so I'll just say, you know what we've been doing all week because I've talked about it. Um, today was... Oh gosh, people are showing up in the background. Um, today was kind of the end of our test prep week um, because we start on Monday. And today was... Um, kind of super chill. We did a little bit of practice with some things, but tried to make it really low key and exciting and fun for them. Um, I did do a math escape the classroom from, I hope I say this one right. I think it's Cameron's classroom. I'll have to include her, um, a link to her TPT account because it was, um, really a great price and it was literally print and do it. It wasn't um, at all a lot of prep and my kids really, really enjoyed it. It was a full year review of math. So um, just something a little different and they really enjoyed it. I vlogged a little bit during it. So I have to show those clips here in just a second. Um, but it was, it was by far a really good thing to do on a day like this before the test. It was reviewing content, but it was a lot more fun for them. Um, 
And then, yeah, that was pretty much the day. We did go to a little assembly with our counselor to talk about how to like overcome test anxiety. And I did a little bit of footage there, so I have to show you that. That was really cool. She did a really good job with that. And we went to recess and we came back in and packed up to go home. So it was a super quick Friday, um, but we're so ready for next week and they're so ready. I'm so excited for them to show off all that they know. And so tonight I have been working on packing up a little bit of my classroom. That's so sad. Although I have done this three times to move classrooms, but um, this time it's moving out of the building. So it's a little bit different. So I've been going through all of my stuff and trying to separate my stuff from what's staying here. And that's just gonna take a while. I just have a lot of stuff. So like I'll show you, like so here is this, um, I'm trying to point, guys. This uh, shit, I'm going the wrong way. This shelf um, is usually covered by a black and white curtain, um, but I took the curtain off so that I could work in that area. And most of that stuff is staying. I pulled out a lot of my stuff and put it in boxes. Um, so that is a little bit done. But see, now I have all this mess in the back of the room. There's my faithful friends helping out. Um, so really quickly, let me show you this really cool project that I'm working on for the Georgia Milestones, our test next week. Um, so we um, aren't testing in the classroom, so I was able to put stuff on the wall, um, which is definitely a plus. So um, I have seen this done before in classrooms, and that's why I wanted to do it this year. Um, and just something different and something exciting for them. So let me turn you around so I can just show you a little bit of it and how we're doing it so far. So, sweet Abby is helping out. You've seen Abby in the vlogs before. She's making another guest appearance here. Um, so these are just black and white pictures of um, famous people or celebrities that my kids admire or look up to or somebody that they really like. Had them make a list of their favorites and then I pulled um, several of them, printed their picture and then came up with little um, sayings that the celebrities would say. So I used like song titles that the celebrities have. Um, this one's really cool. This is our Miss Georgia who has come to our school twice now. She emceed our talent show with me and then came and spoke to our kids last week about testing. So hers, um, she was on the list several times. My kitties really love you Miss Georgia. So shout out to Annie for being there. And we also have Miss America. And then we have my other favorite person in the world, Mickey Mouse. Um, this one is by far the best. This is Cardi B and her quote, I can't even say it without laughing. She says, do a great job this week, occur. Do a great job this week, so, um, um, And then there's this really cool guy down here too. He's like the most famous of all. And that one is. Then we have Batman on there, Lauren Daigle, lots of sports players. So this is a really cool wall that they'll just get to see when they walk in and hopefully it will just give them a little bit of encouragement and motivation seeing some of their favorite celebrities have dropped in to tell them good luck and that they're rooting for them. So that is a little project that I'm finishing up tonight and then Look, there's the black and white curtain hanging back there because I moved it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop off here so I can go help my friends um, because they're doing all the work right now and I need to help them. So I'm gonna go do that and if this is the end of the week, it's the end of the week and it's the end of the vlog. If not, I'll see you again. Regardless, I'll see you next week. So happy weekend, everybody. Follow Abigail underscore. No, nope. see you day. soon, bye. <laughs>
and he could play to his potential. That's the same thing with you guys. You guys will not be fully prepared on Monday if you don't get enough rest. So rest over the weekend, get a good night's sleep on Sunday night, um, don't stay up late, and rest like this gorgeous puppy.